people should not take malaria lightly. Yes, it's treatable. You can get it as many times as you want. But if you just reluctant, just a little bit, you're gone. Uganda, malaria is one of the main um, diseases which affect us. It's one of the number one killers, especially for people who are in remote places. Huh? Refugees, people in the villages, who don't have enough um, medical support to help treat them. In a day, if you have 100 patients, 65 of them are positive for malaria. Most of our PD consultations, and also at the same time, the people that we admit in our wards, 65% is due to malaria. So I've had friends who have died of, of malaria after three days. And these are well-educated people. Then in the night it gets so severe and they just pass out. Imagine three days. Even the service provider themselves actually do fall sick because they are in malaria-prone areas. I've had malaria <laughs> so many times, so many times. Just that if you can sleep under a mosquito net, and probably wear something long in the evenings or something, but there's really nothing like, like you wear while you're at work to, to protect you from malaria. So with uh, the partnership with Insect Shield to prevent them from getting malaria with all the insect repellent that has been infused into the shirts that have been given to the staff, we are indeed seeing that our staff are getting less and less malaria because they already have a protection around them that is helping them to remain in service. Because we always get to see that once the service provider is sick, once the staff is sick, then they are not able to take care of those clients who have come to the facilities. <laughs>